Filipino black folks in the times and dates speak for themselves. And basically what we've got is we've got a matchup of H1B and H1A here. Two different satellites. We've got Jupiter here. We've got Mercury there. Mars here. What we know is the meatball here. Massive planet there, folks, because the idea that look at the size of this and how far away it is and the idea that this is Jupiter over here. Okay, and we realize how damn far away that is, and that's just a massive ass planet right there. Okay, planets, planets, and tons of planets, folks. Dead planets, dark things out in space. Okay, NASA knows because they have to seem through all this stuff when they put a rocket up through space like it's going to Mars. Okay, they got to navigate it like a satellite through all this stuff or find an actual loophole that they can just shoot a bullet like that satellite going all the way to uh, Mars. Uh, we've got Lovejoy froze here on this shot, coming back around the sun at this point in time, okay? Then we have Venus here giving out the same plasmoid protection, okay? Also here, okay? But you don't end up seeing it coming right off the planet. Whether the planets throw it out there or not, who knows. But they have the same kind of force field or some sort of force field that seems to our eye contact to be the same as the sun, which is i.e. somewhere in here, which is in the supergiant's main sequence. And the idea that this is a massive, massive, okay? This is something comparable to Nibiru, maybe even possibly bigger. As you can see, the humongous of it, and it's dead. Either a pile of planets or a planet. Okay, it's very distinguishable. It's pitch ass dark, glow of the sun, bam, X-ray. There it is. Okay, so this is frozen. But to remember that this is Mercury here, this is Jupiter here, this is Venus here. You will simultaneously see that Jupiter flares and Venus flares pretty much in sequence with the solar CME flare coming out. You will see a planet very large end up showing up right here in this plasma field off of Venus, okay, which is basically conclusive with what we've pretty much seen. So is there a planet that has a atmosphere like ours, Earth, between Venus and Mars? And China is up there, and we're going up there to get up by Mars, and what else are we going to look at when we come by, okay? Very interesting stuff up there. Okay, so let's play this video, and basically I think I can keep trapping it back, but Okay, the times will show up down there on the bottom. I'll try to move away for a little minute and let it play. So here you go, massive CME. There's Jupiter. Now watch the plasmas, or what big wave in space, basically. See that humongous wave there? Okay, so remember, Jupiter's over here. Okay, and remember, just make it like, turn this 360 degrees around, folks. So that the idea that you have to remember that, okay, here's Comet Lovejoy, and there's two different shots as you see it go in and come away, go in and come away. And I'll let that come back through again. Okay, before I hit play again, folks, you have to realize, okay, Jupiter, Mercury, Mars, and bend this around, okay? Because basically what it is, is you're going to see the meatball over here. And basically Jupiter and Mercury... are both back over here, okay? You don't see Jupiter in this shot, but you see Mercury, okay? And there's Mars, okay? So that's the exception. You get to see Mercury on this shot, but you don't get to see Jupiter, and Venus is down here, okay? Because Jupiter is back around over here behind Mercury and Mars, basically somewhere back here, okay? And then the meatball is back over here, and you'll see it show up back towards Neptune, Pluto, Uranus, out behind us. Earth's back door in the dark. Okay, but it gets lit up by the sun. Check it out. Here we go and play. Remember, Jupiter's here, but basically you got to bend it in your mind in space around the Jupiter, which is throwing that plasma field off, and then Venus threw that plasma field off, and then Venus did that action, as you see it come into focus there. Okay. And there is, as you saw it, the meatball moving in. Now watch the meatball. It's going to move in. 
It's not no flare. Okay, here's the meatball going to come into effect. Jupiter's there flaring. Mercury's right there. Mercury's right there, okay? You get Venus to be able to see it right here below Mercury, okay? And as you see the depth, as you know that it's not Jupiter, okay? Now, that is Lovejoy. Same damn comet, okay? You can't help that. The satellite is going to pick it up side by side, okay? Remember, Jupiter's there. Venus is down there, okay? Now, watch the meatball move in. Okay, remember this is just a force field, like a protection shield for Venus. Okay, and also you have to remember this. As I had the meatball coming in, the idea that if it's not a force field, then what happens is the shadow or an image reflected back from the meatball. Okay, this is not an aura reflection of the sun ends up coming here, okay? So if you watch the clock, it'll pretty much show you what the meatball comes in and moves back. So if it does rise and fall, it does that at the times that you'll see on the tickers. Okay, so Lovejoy's going around, the meatball moved in, and you'll see the meatball move, okay? You see it coming in? I'll just move it back real fast. And watch the action. Now, so as you watch here, no matter what, the meatball is probably at least, if it's just a plasma field, it's that humongous thing right there. Okay? Back in here. Something humongous. Watch it come in. Okay? We know that this could be the force field on it. But it's hella bigger than Venus's. I mean, Venus is here. Okay? And there's Jupiter's there. That it puts to deflect some natural in space phenomenon. Comes out to try to protect from the heat of the CME coming through space. Venus is doing it, Jupiter does it. And you can even see Mercury has something that comes off of it. I.e. the meatball is back there and you get the size of what it is because of the size of the CME that it puts off. I mean, the, the CME protection force field. Because this is Jupiter over there. And I'll even be able to catch Jupiter popping in. You can see that spike that came off of Jupiter and there comes Lovejoy around. The plasma field is maximum on whatever the hell the meatball is back there. Because as you can see here, size wise, there's no way that it's Jupiter. And this is Jupiter. You can even see this notation right there that that's Jupiter. Okay? And Venus is lower. So here's Lovejoy going around. Okay? That's two different camera shots, and here it is again, two different camera shots. And you'll see it come out. And also, you're going to be able to watch a planet humongous right here next to Mercury. Okay? It's going to be lit up by the glow of Mercury from the sun. There's a huge planet, dead planet, or something. Whatever you want to call it, object in space right there. Okay? Huge object right there by Mercury. You see it glow up? It gets lit up by the glow from the sun, CME action, and that there. You also see a very interesting darkness right there from out in front of Jupiter, from its magnification. It's like a shadow of its static magnetism. See that darkness there? As this earlier CME died off, you get that blackness out there. 
because this is Jupiter over there somewhere. Okay, and it'll come into effect. There's Jupiter starting to do what it did. Okay. Venus is going to be down here. This is Lovejoy and Lovejoy. Okay, just different satellites. Okay, Mercury there, Mars there. Mercury up high, Mars low. Then the protection field that you'll see come in there. Protection field coming off of Venus. And then the protection field coming off the meatball. Whatever the hell is that humongous out there, because you can see by size differential, Mars looks the same size here as it Mercury does over here. You know, pretty close, but the idea that we know that Mercury is bigger than Mars, I believe. Yeah, that or if Mars is bigger, it's farther back. Don't know at this time, I'm kind of confused. Like you could have used. But the idea that you know, because we showed you, they've got. Mercury in it right there. Mercury is there, okay, and it's also there. Okay, so it's size wise, and then we know that that's Jupiter. We know that this is Venus. So, size wise, comparably stays in the idea that this is something that's humongous up in deep dark space that even puts that massive protection shield out off these CMEs from the sun. And Lovejoy coming around. So, it's there. So for your eyes, folks, it's all here. You can keep on playing this back and back and back and back. You'll see the glow of that planet that ends up showing up there. It gets resonated by Mercury. You can watch it over there. I haven't been watching it that much there. Lovejoy and Lovejoy, it's the same Lovejoy, it's just two different sides. Remember, this is a satellite here, H1A, H1B. Totally opposite sides of space. Shooting in and looking at the sun. And the sun and the supergiants gets cut out right here in this seam. This is just the two shots melded together. Because the sun is too goddamn sh bright in all the supergiants also to be able to see that. So we're over here by Jupiter, so that people understand that. Okay, Earth is over here somewhere because it's we're over by Jupiter. Jupiter's at our back door. Jupiter's at Earth's back door. So I'm so surprised they haven't been able to pinpoint some little gnat's ass because that's what we are—is a little gnat's ass up there. Somewhere over here, between Mercury and Jupiter, is Earth. Either that or back down here right down here and all the super giants and all the sun and everything is all in here in the middle of this and then you flip you take a make a cone of this whole shot okay you make a cone of the whole shot just basically like a piece of paper you roll it up and this is around all the way back over to this side okay because this back here is back there with Jupiter and back behind Mars. That's space. Okay? So you basically just have to roll it up like a piece of paper. The Sun is in the well in the middle. You got Venus down here. That's Lovejoy, Lovejoy on both sides because there's two different satellite shots. And the meatball. Neptune, Pluto, and everything like that's back up over there. Back up behind here, behind Jupiter. Back up behind Jupiter, which Jupiter's there. Earth is somewhere in here. Okay, somewhere down right in here. And there's the force field and what Jupiter ended up doing. Venus did this action down here. Mercury did all this. Mercury is matched there. And Mars, so you're able to get... Mercury is the one that you get, get to see in both sides of the satellites on this satellite on that side and satellite on this side you get to see mercury more videos soon